Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Patrick. There's Copper, my 2012 Suzuki V Strom. We're out here in the forest today and I want to talk a little bit about moto camping. What's your definition? What is moto camping to you? Let's talk about it. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Patrick riding Copper today and it is according to the thermometer on the V-Strom, 49 degrees. It is December 21st. Merry Christmas, everyone, even though you won't see this for a very long time. I'm out here in the Pisgah National Forest, just kind of cruising around. Wanted to kind of pop in real quick and talk a little bit about moto camping. And um, like the last video, I'm stealing this directly from or one of the last videos. I'm stealing this directly from Dork in the Road. He and uh, his partner there, can't remember her name, that just kills me that I can't, sorry. They had, um, they just started doing some podcasts that they released onto YouTube, and I watched one of the episodes last night, and they were talking about the moto camping thing. How some people say, if you're not in a tent, out in the woods, with nobody around, no facilities, and just absolutely roughing it, then it's not moto camping. There are people who say that you really um, can't call it moto camping unless you're in a tent out there in the middle of nowhere. Let's see, which way do I want to go? Let's go straight. Dork was saying that he completely disagrees. What they were saying, they completely disagree. And they have done all of it. Um, all of the you know, primitive camping. Uh, I don't know if they've done stealth camping, but they've done the primitive camping. Find a spot on the side of the road, put your gear in there, pitch a tent, and be done with it. And they've even done um, yurts and even little cabins, you know, unheated, unelectric cabins. And like they said, you know, whatever it is you do, do it. Um, don't be thinking, okay, because you camp in, for me, I camp in campgrounds. I have a health issue and having facilities is almost a requirement. Close enough to a requirement that I have yet to do any sort of primitive camping. I've done tent camping with no electricity, no water, but I've been in a campground where I can go um, use, use the, the outhouse if it's just there, whatever it is that I need to use. And so, to me, I agree completely with what the, these two were saying. I think for anybody who's going out and starting to do the traveling thing and you want to do the moto camping thing, you need to, let's get through here, you need to start with whatever you're comfortable with. You may not have any gear to do any sort of camping, but you want to go do a little motorcycle traveling, then go, you know, and stay in a hotel, stay in a motel. Whatever it is that you need to do to get out and take that ride and spend a night somewhere and then ride back or multiple nights. Now my suggestion is if you're new to motorcycle traveling and you want to get out and do the thing, whether it's on a street bike, on an ADV bike, whatever, the first few times you do it, stay at a hotel. Stay someplace where you feel safe, where um, you don't put yourself in a very uncomfortable situation. Do it in a, in a place where you don't have to go spend a ton of money to get all the gear you need to be able to sleep. The road has got rutted out. Check that out. That's a, that's a rut right there, folks. I'm going to cross here. Oop, I shouldn't have crossed. I gotta cross back. I will do that right here. <laughs> All right. So anyway, 
go out, take the trip, spend the night wherever it is you want to spend the night, whether it's a friend's house, a hotel, whatever. Just go out and start the motorcycle travel. Once you've done that and you think, oh man, that was so cool, I got to get out and ride and I put on all these miles, I spent the night somewhere and then I put on all these other miles and I really got to do some experience on a multi-day ride. I want you to do it, but I want to warn you, once you start, it becomes very addicting. <laughs> but go do that. Then, if that is something that bites you like it did me and becomes an addiction, then start figuring out, okay, well, maybe I do want to camp. It's a little cheaper. You know, whatever it is, I just want to be, I want to camp because I love camping. You know, whatever it is that gets you out there to do the thing, as, as the magpie would say, Amanda. And build into it. Don't just go buy all this expensive camping stuff, throw it on the bike and go find yourself a campground and then realize, wait a minute, this really isn't for me. I don't like sleeping on the ground. Don't. Go pull up in here for a little bit go do the thing go start at your pace whatever your pace is and start the camping thing once you've developed whatever it is that you want to do you can keep adding more gear you can keep trying different things but don't let these internet people tell you that oh man you're not camping out in the middle of the woods with nobody around worrying about bears and wildlife then you're not a real moto camper yeah nah if you're out there doing it you're doing it enjoy it and I don't know which way I want to go all right folks thanks for listening to me ramble on I hope everyone can stay well stay safe most of all stay happy y'all motor ramblings out See ya.